Welcome to the journey. Today we're talking about how to use Twitter for your business. Let's jump in. I hear a lot from different businesses that Twitter is dead, it's, it's irrelevant. Why, why should we be on Twitter? Give me, what are some pros to using Twitter? So I hear that all the time too, and it's absolutely not the case. It's on the rise, popularity is growing, and Twitter is really unique in that the real time mm -hmm. that it embraces is what makes it so special. Um, so yeah. should all businesses use Twitter, or should some, or are there certain use cases where you probably should avoid it? I'm a big fan, I'm a huge advocate of using all three platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and, and Instagram, because they work better together. Okay. But the thing about Twitter is, and some view this as a con, is the algorithm. So you're not gonna just see things in a chronological order. Okay. So to keep your content actually coming up and being found, you wanna make sure that you have quality content, not quantity, you don't need to be <laughs> tweeting on Just steroids. mass producing content, yeah. right? You wanna make sure that you're giving something of value to your audience. What's kind of the, the first steps once I sign up? What should I really look at? So first steps, you definitely wanna start following like-minded users. Okay. And that can also help you to get in front of their followers, which will give you a really organic presence. And then also go and engage with other users on Twitter. You know, go and click retweet on something that makes sense to mm. your business that would also be of value to your followers. So what about my profile? I know it, there's, there's some things that I should probably do just to make sure it's consistent. What does that look like? With your profile, you wanna make sure that you have, usually, do you have a logo? Yeah. Do, yeah, so you wanna put your logo out on your Twitter and definitely make sure your handle is consistent. So that's that at symbol and then the name of your business, preferably. Make sure that's consistent across mm. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, because right. after all, you're branding yourself. Right. And then from there, you have like a little bio description right beneath the photo and your handle. Cool, so one of my like just absolute favorite topics ever are hashtags. Hashtag, I did it all for the cookies, right? Tell us about kind of the best practices of using hashtags. Like should we just go on a hashtag tangent? Are there best practices? What should we avoid? Give us a lowdown. Yes, yeah, so definitely reel it in. Don't need to go hashtag crazy. Okay. Um, but I also, love hashtags. It's a great way to get more exposure. They're free to use. Mm. And it can help you to be found by someone who doesn't even know you exist. Uh, also, in including an actual caption that you're writing. So okay. one of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling the country, and let's say I did this seminar, right, on mm. social media, and I got a cool picture. <laughs> Me at the microphone, feeling. I could see it now. <laughs> feeling pretty cool at a trade show. And so I wanna like get that out to my audience and I caption it like, uh, having a blast sharing hashtag social media tips. So got then it. it's in my caption and then now if anyone's searching in the area or social media tips in general, right. I have a chance to be discovered. Seems because, more natural, right, than just having yeah. it at the very end. Make it part of the conversation. Exactly, make okay. it part of the caption. But do both, by all means. Okay. You can get real localized with it. Really? So, yeah, so when I travel, like for example, I was in Austin recently, and I just wanted to know where's a good place to eat or get a craft beer. You know, that's a big thing in Austin. So I would just search, hashtag Austin Eats. And from there, I found out what tourists, locals, where they were going to get food, and then that helped me make my buying decision. Mm -hmm. So think about it as a small business owner, you know, how does this relate to you? While consumers are out there searching hashtags, right. when they're looking for a product, a service, a cup of joe. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, so if you have these hashtags on your posts, like you're more likely to be found when someone's searching coffee. Perfect, and what I would say too, like when searching that, joining on the conversation with those hashtags that are relevant to what you're searching. And that's, uh, what, that's yeah. what's most important about Twitter, right? Is talking to people and being social. It's social media for a reason. Yeah, exactly. It's a two-way street. That's yep. the beauty of it. Right. You're not just talking at your customers anymore. You're engaging with them. It's a conversation. And at the end of the day, that is going to make your presence more powerful if you have this two-way conversation. Right on. Yeah. I dig it. So next up, we have really paid advertising, because I know I've seen some paid promotions on Twitter every now and then. Is there any relevance to that? Should we test it out? What are your thoughts? I always say start small. 
and be sure you're paying attention to the metrics. Otherwise, you're just just blindly just, spending yeah. money, right? At so, the end of the month, you're yeah. like, wait, where'd my money go? Like, well, yeah, so just start small. So Emma, so we're, 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 we're tweeting a lot, we're searching hashtags, we're using hashtags. How do we know if what we're doing is working and relevant? Is there any place to go in and check what we're doing? There absolutely is a way to track. Twitter has this account dashboard that you can actually see even what time of day people are looking at your tweets, which could really be informative. You know, I used to work at a coffee shop, and what we found is there were certain times of day that made sense to tweet to get people to come in. Right. Coffee, early risers. You can tweet something at 5 a.m. about what you have on, what your drip coffee is or your specials on your lattes. Mm -hmm. And that made sense, you know? And then, so thinking about the time of day, looking at your Twitter analytics to see what works best. Yeah. Um, but also the top tweet is really informative. So what just looking, that? like the tweet that got the most impressions, the most engagement. That's going to help inform the next tweet and your strategy. Okay. Oh, also the retweet. If I'm getting yeah. a lot of retweets from users, I know, oh, they like that. You know, they, they want liked, to tell their friends. Yeah. Right? Like I should include more photos of me skateboarding. That got way more retweets. Yeah. And then that informed my next tweet. So there's, there's two different types of retweets, if you will. There's retweet and there's a quote tweet. Yeah. So while it's, fast and efficient to simply click retweet, you know, back to the million other things you're doing. Right. Uh, we've found it to be more beneficial to quote, add your own caption, because then you're adding your personal flair to it, and you're really explaining the relevance of that tweet to you. Why are you retweeting it? Sometimes I feel like I'm spending all day on Twitter. Is there a way for me to not have to do that? Like, can I uh, just go and do it just once a day because I like, schedule things like help me out here. I don't want to spend all day on social media. I've got a business to run. Absolutely. So there are ways to outsource. Okay. If you don't want to do this, um, go daddy social. <laughs> <laughs> there are teams that can take this off your plate. But if it's something you want to do on your own, you want to be beneficial with your time. So I strongly, strongly encourage a content calendar. Okay. What's so that, that way you so you get a calendar, a blank calendar, and you just plan out a couple days a week that you want to tweet and do it months in advance. So then you don't miss piggybacking off of a holiday. Even unofficial holidays like National yeah. Hot Dog Day. Or There's literally a random holiday is, for yeah, every day. Yeah, and not all of them of are gonna make sense to your business, right. but if they do, you can really piggyback off of that with Twitter. Mm -hmm. But the content calendar is gonna be key to help you plan out in advance. So you're not rushing and scrambling like, oh, I haven't been on Twitter for a few right. days and I just need to go out there and tweet. Yeah. No. One tool that I found that is pretty cool is TweetDeck. Have you checked that out? No, I haven't. So TweetDeck actually lets you, it's inside of Twitter itself, but it lets you schedule out your own tweets so that you don't have to have to go in every day and post. You sure. can literally take some time or chunk out of your Monday, right? And schedule totally. out your, your content calendar and it'll just spin it for you. Yeah. And I would just be cautious with that though, because while that's maybe a good way for you to prior or manage your time rather, yep. you want to make sure that those times of day are working for your consumers because yep. that's the key. You want your tweet to connect with your consumer yep. at the most optimal time. All right. Thank you so much, Emma. This has just been a blast. I, I'm, I'm going to invest in Twitter now. Like it, it's changed my life. So thank you. Hashtag life changing. Hashtag life changing. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you all so much for watching. This has been The Journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you want to see next. And thank you for watching.